it's always a pleasure to have you with us, Adam. But this match in particular is one I'm very, very excited for. Yeah, we've uh, kind of got a final in the semi-final for us. I say it's uh, it's going to be interesting because um, say this is Shep, Shep's second time and uh, he won the first one, so I'm pretty sure he's ready to do it again. And we couldn't see another debutant from the UK run to the final, could we? Oh. <laughs> When Tom Cousins is involved, you you never know. Yeah, you, you never bet against him. I say, uh, obviously, people haven't had the pleasure to watch him so much in the US, but uh, he's definitely a force to be reckoned with in the UK. What did you make of Jordan's victory in the quarterfinal against one Christo Melling? Oh, I say, if you want to uh, watch a uh, Ultimate pull shoe out match and know what it's about. I say uh, that's pretty much. It's a good example. Everything isn't it? like you need. Yeah. I say the first two racks was done in about three minutes, and then all of a sudden it's six six with you know no time left on the clock. So yeah, a really special game, and it it ended in a six ball shootout. It ended with Jordan Shepherd bungee jumping around the arena, such was the relief that he felt. Yeah, uh, is the. Uh, brother's got an Apple watch. He said his heart rate was at 130. <laughs> <laughs> it was telling him to sit down watching the game. So that was a funny one. Oh, Jordan. Well, those are, that's a very, very rare mistake. Just using the equipment. Just have one of the watch of this. Just trying to feather up. Oh. He just wasn't happy with it. Didn't, uh, that will be such an annoying one for him. Yeah, I say Chris did the same one in the, uh, in the last match too. He was lining up the six ball and uh, tapped it as well, which we've not seen. That's a f yeah, we've seen two this tournament and we've not seen any on the TV table prior yeah, to Yeah, silly old game, isn't it? I think for, for Sheppy, I think he'll just be pleased that it's come in the first frame and not maybe potentially with more consequences further down the line. But general rule of thumb with Tom Cousins is keep him off that table. Yeah, so it's uh, he makes it look pretty easy. So uh, sometimes I don't think he gets the credit he deserves because no, it's just I, so simple. I I completely agree. I think you know there's certain there's certain players that make the game look easy in quite a a difficult way, if you know what I mean. Like right. someone like Chris Melling makes the game look so simple, but in a way that you that you feel like you couldn't do that, right. but he makes it look really easy for him. Looks like the game's just a joke at times. Whereas Tom Cousins makes this game look so simple that I could pick up a key, walk outside and think, oh yeah, I could do that. Yeah, that's how it looks. It's but easy as it's, it's just not easy. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he really is the master of making this game look very, very effortless. And that's 1-0. The one thing that if Tom can find a way to replicate from the way that his game works in, in English 8-ball, if he can replicate his break in the American game, <laughs> might be all over. <laughs> yeah, so the, uh, the power and control that he has is, uh, off the break is, is unreal. And uh, looking at this one, he's, he's working out pretty quick. I was chatting to him about it earlier, though. Obviously, he won his game earlier, and I was chatting to him a little bit about the break, and it's such a different shot in American 8-ball compared to what we see Tom just decimate with in English 8-ball, because how Tom describes it is he can cue it in English 8-ball. Right. So he, it's just a stroke, and it's controllable, and it's timing and all the rest of it. But he feels like he's got to whack yeah, so with the, the cue ball a bit in American ball because the balls are heavier and all yeah. the rest of it. You can't just cue it. So yeah, and obviously Tom Cousin most of his breaks will either the white will pop up or he draws it back to the back rail in English eight ball. Whereas you know here it's the last thing you want to do is put draw on it because it's just yeah. so heavy it won't split. So you're kind of taking a gamble on punching through it. So it's definitely a different stroke. Yeah, and when you're I mean, any amateur player knows it. When you're all of a sudden trying to really hit the ball rather than just queuing it, all of a sudden it's so much more difficult to control. Yeah, so it's a, 
there's a there's amateurs teaching all these UK pros how to break and how to wreck, so that shows you a lot. It's uh, it's an interesting concept, but yeah. But what I like as well about how the UK guys have come across, and of course you you know this from your own experience, you've been here you know over a decade, but these guys coming over for you know some of them the first time, like Thomas this week, they're some of the best players in the world, but they're very, very humble and willing to learn and willing to be friendly with the locals and all the rest of it. It's actually really lovely to see. Yeah, it's super nice. I think uh, they're looking for any advantage and any <laughs> lessons they can take. Uh, I know Stephen Wyatt's always willing to give some free advice as well. So uh, I say it's, uh, it's funny how they're always trying to get an edge. When a pool player's asking me for advice, you know, it's a, a worrying time. So. <laughs> Well, Tom Cousins makes a mistake. Those do not come very often. Yeah, he's kind of returned the favour, so I'm pretty confident, Sheffy, you'll get out from here. Terrible shot from Jordan Shepard. Yeah, so he's always about that. I think he can just mass around it and just get away with it. But yeah. he's going to leave himself a hard shot. He's a lucky boy to have even had that, to be honest with you. And there it was. Yeah, that was that was hard. No, it was really tough. So not the start to this match that we thought we'd get in all truth. We've played less than two frames and we've already seen more mistakes in this match than we've seen from both players all tournament, I yeah, think. I say it's uh nerves might be setting in. Uh but yeah, it's definitely a different environment in the US. I think one thing to remember for these guys in particular is it's a huge commitment to to come and play in this event. You know, it's not not just a jolly for, for Tom Cousins and Jordan Shepard. There's a lot of sacrifice involved in playing in a tournament like this when your hometown is four and a half thousand miles away. Yeah, you're definitely not driving three hours to somewhere, so yeah, it's a yeah. big commitment. So there's that, you know, they, they always want to win everything they're in, but there's that little bit of added pressure as well that, you know, Jordan said it to me in his interview earlier, now, I was, I was thinking in in the moment against Chris Melling, you know, have I wasted my chance? And you know, I, I don't want to stop playing tonight. You know, I've come a long way. I don't want to be out of the tournament so early. Jordan Shepard punches that break, and even and it is so early on here, but this feels like a big, big frame for Jordan Shepard. Yeah, so especially with uh, Tom breaking next, it's a uh, it's a must win. And it's not the easiest uh, no. set for him either. No, there's a fair few problems here. But he might be able to break out the 12 right now from this 11 ball, so that might free him up. Yeah, this is a shot that Jordan couldn't really play in uh, in Kansas City. He was there. Uh, Quite a funny story, really. He won his first American pool tournament in the Kansas City shootout. And he won it with a borrowed cue, which, by his own admission, he couldn't draw the ball back with. <laughs> yeah. Imagine being so good you can win a tournament without drawing the ball. No, it's uh, <laughs> slightly <laughs> annoying. So. Imagine being that talented. Not to make anyone sick. I can happily report that Sheppy's able to draw the ball with the cue that he's got himself now. Yeah, he loves it. So he's not shut up about it all week. So. <laughs> I 
Yeah, this was a very, very welcome rack for Jordan Shepard, who goes on the scoreboard. 2-1 now. He's now into the game. When he's flying, there is, for me, there's no better player in the world to watch. Oh, Tom Cousins has topped the living daylights out of that break. Look at that. I think he's worked it out. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, it's still one a little funny. <laughs> look how, I mean, that's crazy. That came up beyond the side pockets and then ended up off the bottom rail. So much spin on that cue ball there. He could have left himself a nicer shot, mind. Yeah, so he's, I think he's got maybe the four ball in the middle. He might not even be able to cut it. He might have to take the three ball combo, but that, that feels a bit more dangerous than it needs to. He must be able to get through. No, it's the stripes. Well, that is an interesting decision. What do you do about that 10 ball? Yeah, so it's uh, the only thing I can see him getting on it is the uh, the green 14 over here. Uh, but that's probably a reason why we're sat here, right? He's probably got a plan already. Yeah, I mean, it's one of his great calling cards is yeah. how quickly he attacks his work. Yeah, I mean, there that's, it is. That's pretty perfect. I don't know if there was too many who would have spotted the two shots that he's just played from that position. All of a sudden, if he gets this, he's odds on. Perfect. Yeah, it's just a uh, dot to dot from here, so tic tac toe. Oh, that might not be the best shot he's ever played, though. No, I think he's got a little funny. I'm guessing he'll just stun it and kind of take his medicine from here. Unless it goes in the middle off the uh, four, I'm not too sure. Yeah, he, he might even be straight enough that he can just go through and have a nice one. Nice, oh, got a bit of angle. Yeah, will be the middle. Oh, one bad shot there from Tom Cousins, and all of a sudden he's he's got a serious eight ball to make here. Yeah, and uh, the American pockets is tight in that middle. Promise. Did help, you saw a great angle there before. Did just make that a slightly bigger pocket. Threw everything at that. Yeah, he scored the white well, but doesn't look like he's going to get rewarded for it. That's pretty tough. I mean, look at the clusters at the top of the table. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Jordan's thinking something along those lines right now. Yeah, I say it's, a, it's an interesting one, I don't think. Nobody's really worked out the break yet, with it being a eight on the spot. The Americans haven't really worked it out, and everyone seems to be trying different things. Uh, but someone will eventually work it out, and then everyone will be doing They will thing. eventually, yeah. Yeah, I agree with the noise that you made. <laughs> I'm not too sure about this either. Yeah, now he's trying to move it again and 
maybe bank the 15. Well, I mean, he is ahead, so I don't know if he wants to open it up quite yet, because it's still a difficult out, even if he banks it. Cousin likes to play safe, so <laughs> he doesn't. These two have known each other a little while. But if you want an interesting statistic, they've met three times in, uh, on the Ultimate Pool Tour in the UK, and on all three occasions, Jordan Shepherd has got the victory. Wow. There's not many players, and by not many, I think there's two who can boast a winning record over Tom Cousins over multiple matches since Ultimate Pool UK's inception about th three or four years ago. Like he's perfect on it. All of a sudden, Adam, we've got 14 minutes this match left, and it feels like we're ticking down towards the end. Yeah, it's. Uh, they move so quick, it's. I say. Like Tom's deceiving. It doesn't. It looks like he's walking around, taking his time, and he's just so smooth that. Chris Mellon, you think it's, oh, this is fast. But yeah, it, it's, it's like a constrictor, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you think he's taking four or five minutes a rack, but he just does it so smooth and walks around. It's uh, slow and simple, but it seems to be quick. Oh, and that's the uh, chance he needed. Yeah, that's what you pretty much never see in the English game is Tom Cousins scratching the side pockets. Just does not happen. Yeah, and that's the difference. That top on it just caught a little bit too much. crucial frame for Jordan to win. And he's got a bit of work to do now. It's a good shot. Oh, that is a good shot. And it is interesting, you know, you, you get used to watching him just saunter around the table without a care in the world. But he feels it just like any other player does. Yeah, he, uh, from an outside standpoint point of view, he uh, definitely doesn't show it, though. No. No, I get the sense he'd be a pretty good poker player, Tom Cousins, honestly. He's very, very little away. Jordan Shepard. Almost the exact opposite, really. He's the sort of player who does wear his heart on his sleeve. I feel like he sometimes needs to. Needs to get a bit annoyed, let it out, and then he can refocus. And right now, 
he can focus on getting himself right back into this game. You guys say it's uh, one scratch on the break and all of a sudden it's uh, looks like it's going to be 4-3. <laughs> How often do we see it happen? Could we see another six ball shootout? I have a feeling I know I'd make favourite. Still a long way to go yet though before we start chalking those cues. He'll do that. <laughs> Beautifully done. Four three. Like a cat on a hot tin roof. Yeah, yeah. But he's aware that he, that sort of style can intimidate opponents when he can run rack after rack and fizz around the table like that. Last ball roll just there. Back in your chair, Jeff. He was, <laughs> he was halfway up, wasn't he? Yeah, he's, I've noticed that with him as well, even when the referee's racking, he's right on the table ready to go every single time. And that was a really interesting break from Tom Cousins, and I'll tell you for why, because that's his English eight ball break. Yeah, maybe we're scratching on the uh, on the last one. He's resorted back to all he knows. Yeah, that right there, even from the cue ball position to what he's trying to do with the cue ball, he's sort of, yeah, resorting back to what feels familiar. And he did seem to take a bit of power out of it as well. I think that was much more of a controlled strike. result. Yeah, that might be the break after all, who knows. That would feel very unfair. Oh. As he's, yeah, he's uh, slightly hooked on the rail here. And that's just a little difference with them square pockets versus yeah. the round the pocket. He's got no time to figure it out either. He's got to play. Oh, he could oh. just get through. <laughs> what puck for the cheeks from Tom Cousins. Yeah, and on the American tables, I'd say it's, it's quite a common thing. Oh, 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 well. Wow. How that three's not dropped, I, I just don't know. Watch the top right corner pocket here on this replay. Still not sure how it stayed up. There's a little bit of work to do here, though. This isn't a routine finish, but Tom Cousins is on the hill. And he's one frame away for an Ultimate Pool USA final on debut. Repeating the trick that Jordan Shepard did in Kansas City. Yeah, uh, are we surprised? No. I think I'm probably the least surprised person in the entire building, to be honest with you. Uh, 
but it's got a little, I think he was trying to uh, use a six to break out, but I think he's got a little straight on it, so. Well, I wonder if he can, if he can roll through and take the five into the top right, and in doing so promote the two, or he's gonna take it top left. Yeah, I think, I think he's, he's gonna take both top left. Yeah, he's just gonna nudge the uh, 15 ball out the way and uh, yeah, that's such a good shot, you know, he's yeah. pin perfect. And I took the sort of the free option if you like, it was an easy bump. Knew he'd have guaranteed position on the one. Two awaits in the left side pocket. It's as close to hurried as you'll see, Tom Cousins, but yeah, he still, looks fine. Still super comfortable even with two seconds to go, so definitely used to the format. He is just brilliant. Well, Jordan Shepard, the Kansas City shootout champion, is eliminated at the semi-final stage of his defense by a familiar foe but maybe an unfamiliar face and name for our stateside viewers. But if Tom Cousins starts hanging around in the USA, you will soon know all about this man. One of the best players in the world.